in 2020, last year, in ad maths, maths in every subject, there was no paper to do, it was just paper one. But in 2019, for ad maths vectors, the product angle between two vectors. In 2018, the year before, there's no January exam for ad maths, right? So the year before, June, magnitude angle. Again, product angle between two vectors, 2017, year before, magnitude angle, magnitude angle, product, magnitude angle, 95% of the work that you're going to get in vectors. For CSEC, ADMATS is going to be finding magnitude, finding unit vector, finding the angle between the two vectors. If the dot product is zero, the angle is 90. So what I'm going to show you is the on the job training of this, I'm going to do some past papers and that, but before we do the past papers, I want to actually show you how to find the magnitude and how to find the unit vector and some of the other little theory. This is the SA bank for CSEC maths. This is the plug on how to get full maths in your CSEC uh, maths SB. So it basically means how long the magnitude of a vector means how long the size, the raw size of a vector. Um, for example, oh, before we do that, if there's if the vector is in the notation AB, then we use this symbol. You all remember this? This is like the modular sign, the magnitude of a vector. Or if the vector is like P, then you say the modulus of P. If the vector is a common letter, like that, right? So this is the symbol we use. Um, which one of these vectors you think will have the higher magnitude? Looking at this. Now, if I had the 4 and 4, I get 8. If I had the 2 and 6, I get 8. That actually have nothing to do with how you're, <laughs> you're going to find the magnitude here. But looking at this, it, you can see this one looks longer, right? If they were drawn to scale, PQ has the higher magnitude. The formula that we actually use to find the magnitude of a vector, this should be revision for you is this. This, this is ripped straight out of the hands of pythagoras you know he liked to be in everything where we have like that triangle and we find this side which which is like the vector that's like the length of the vector there so you find the horizontal the vertical the square both sides and that the square root of that some of the square of the opposites um two sides the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides and the triangle right so in this case, if we were to apply the formula, um, let's put a little arrow and that's all If we were to apply the formula, we'd 4 squared plus 4 squared, this squared plus that squared, uh, that's kind of big. This squared plus this squared goes there, square root of 32. In, in AdMats, we have a tendency to leave things in this format, SURD, S-U-R-D format, which is cool. That's cool. We can live that life. Uh, PQ is equal to... Oh, I'll just find the magnitude of this vector. And you see, this one in is, is this, and this one is that. So something you want to put in that somebody didn't put in here when you do these things is units. Because this is actually a length that you are finding. So you're going to write units to make sure they didn't steal your marks out here. Now. Last thing before we go into the questions, because I want to do the past paper questions. The unit vector, that's just a little thing that you just train for a little one mark. The unit vector, just take the vector and divide by the magnitude. Very simple, very easy, will recommend. Um, for example, if the vector was AB is 3, 4, by the way, this sizing up to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so the magnitude is going to be 5. It's like if you go across 3 here, you go up 4 here, this triangle ring a bell to y'all, so we know the length of this is going to be 5. So let's just verify that by doing the formula magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of the x coordinate squared the y coordinate um squared or the the the, the more exactly or more accurately the displacement in the x direction squared and the displacement in the y direction squared or in the i and the j direction for that notation we'll see some of the questions in the past papers looking like that so this is units here again this boy just forgetting this thing um, so unit vector in the direction of AB is going to be, you're going to get this magnitude and just sneak it underneath these two things. And that's all they're asking you for. Very easy, very simple, will recommend. So this is the past paper. This is 2019. There was no paper 2 in AdMats. 
2020 was a crazy year so we did the dot product already we did this in earlier videos y'all could always check out the earlier videos i had on have on vectors by the way if you want to join my admats class that is open as well um message whatsapp this number across the caribbean so i have students across the caribbean shout out to all the people in st vincent grenada um barbados and no volcanic eruption no no i type and then type out my personal number there no 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 wrong number that's the next number again seven eight four zero six one nine so you whatsapp this number to get in contact with the student hub or you can look us up on instagram the student hub kevin springer back to the question p dot q eight times one two times this is giving me something strange here the dot product is giving me a zero and that means once the dot product is zero the angle in between two vectors with a dot product zero it, it means that the angle is cos of 90 the angle is 90 degrees cos of 90 is zero now so yeah angle in between p and q is zero they might act it later on by the way watching at this y'all could y'all could see that this could be written in the form like eight two one should that be negative four and you understand what's happening there right that's how the scalar product works in case you're trying to figure it out or if you're still trying to figure it out watch back the previous videos this is ad maths eh, people sometimes maths people is stumble on an ad maths video and be like what is this i never learned this before vectors are all like this oh my gosh we're gonna feel this is ad maths a eh? totally different topic well not totally but different topic than normal c sec maths since scalar product is zero the angle between p and q is zero so they did venture forward and ask you that question this is uh part c the position vector is this find the unit vector remember I tell you they could sneak this in file one or two marks there it has been snuck in so we are going to get the square root of four squared plus seven squared we got the we got the magnitude here once you get the magnitude you divide by a magnitude to get your vector in the direction your unit vector this is just one way of writing it you notice how we put the four over the magnitude as square root of 25 um 65 uh this is another way of writing it as well which you all may be more familiar with um this is 2018 past paper it was just this quick thing that you had to do find the magnitude of ab First, you needed to find a b using the triangle law this is ad, uh, this is normal maths and i have a nice little vector course on c sec maths that you're already supposed to know if you are an ad math student so you find a b first because it wasn't given you use these two what we call them position vectors you use this formula the triangular formula for vectors you find a b and then you go ahead and you apply the little magnitude formula square root of this squared that squared end up with square root of 37. next part of the question which is the last part of the question in 2018 was the angle between so you're seeing is it then starting to repeat what they're asking here they want this vector this vector they want the angle in between when they say the angle a o b hat on o they actually mean here that angle there so we considering o a as a vector and o b as a vector and we just find any angle in between using the formula the big formula uh, so we find out what OA is, what OB is actually was given in the question. I just redraw the diagram to kind of represent this a little more. You go across two units, you go up one. Um, it's a sketch, right? You go across three units, then you go down um, five to get this one. So it's looking like so it looking like could be 90 degrees, could be close to 90 degrees. Um, this is the formula that you use for this all the time. Chances of this formula coming in your exam is like 90 percent make sure you know how to use it in all its forms all its glories now i just snuck in the scalar product here um which is this oh this by this plus this by this right and i hope i do everything correct here if i let, if i made any mistake in the calculation i'll just put it in the comments um add up and then we have the magnitude by the magnitude which we learn how to find now the two magnitudes um uh, just want to write it back again ignoring the first part here already 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 do that part on the last page so this is one 
uh, this is the simplified version what i would advise that you don't do is like going into decimal one time if you go into decimal make sure you put plenty zero point blah 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 blah, blah, blah. put plenty decimal places that camera battery dying that camera battery that i hope you still get the footage <sighs> yeah so pro tip is probably not convert this into decimal leave it with these square root looking things here and just find the cussing wheels of the whole thing and done because you remember it's theta you're trying to find the angle in between so you have to bring across cuss your cussing wheels and the angle in between was 85.6 degrees uh that's the end of that let's do the last bit i decided not to do the last question because it repetitive we did this already you want the product of the two vectors you can go ahead and find that and you want the angle between the two vectors we just did that so go ahead and do this question put the answer in the comments and sometime in the future i'll swing back and take a look at what it is in the comments maybe four or five years from now and see who have the correct thing or someone you all could go and peep the current comments if there's no comments you put the correct thing till then that's it for csec ad maths and vectors it's a it's a blessing to come across csec ad maths vectors in the exam there are some tougher questions than vectors so it's like a kind of breather during the exam these last three videos that i did on vectors should help you to breathe properly when you reach to this question um you get to see some in i feel like i'm talking too much so subscribe like share check me out on instagram check me out on facebook Okay.